Please try to clap. This is Lacey. Hi. And we're gonna be reviewing and like rating stuff that we've used or not used, or stuff that people has told us that we weren't gonna use and we used it. White onesies, horrible. Like mm -hmm. Ivy has literally got mold on the top of hers. Maybe from not not using a bib, but I definitely like don't recommend them unless you just want to do it as an undershirt. You just want to buy them as an undershirt, but that that is a good way to use them. Just don't feed them in that. Like no. my mom. I completely agree. I rate them like one out of ten. <laughs> Two out of Bless ten. Bless you. Rascal and Friends diapers and mops. I personally am a Rascal and Friends mom. Like literally, I absolutely love them. They don't come out like pampers in wads. They come out one at a time. And the diapers literally, you can leave the diapers on for over 12 hours and there's still no bleed through. And it feels dry completely on the inside. So I give them a 10 out of 10. Coco Melon, Miss Rachel, and Gracie's Corner. Coco Melon, no. No. Completely no. Mm -hmm. No. Are you clapping? Yay! Miss Rachel, lifesaver. Give yes. a clap for Miss Rachel. Yes. And Gracie's Corner, Lacey just put that on like mm -hmm. a couple minutes ago. And it was good, wasn't it? Yes. Yes. So we're going to start watching that. But Miss Rachel is definitely the go-to. Baby soap slash the kind we use. I use Johnson's. I use Johnson's and Dove. Both of those. Uh, we tried Dove and it broke like Ivy's face out and her body and stuff so we quit using it and we only use johnson's but so a lot of babies are different with that but yeah. i wish we could use dove because i love that it works so good yes christmas presents everybody tells you around like the age that ivy and her baby's around like i would say around four six eight months they tell you not to get a lot of stuff but like it's not even like just for them it's for you like the excitement of their first christmas mm -hmm. like you want to buy them toys and look she's literally playing mm -hmm. with this toy right now and she loves it and just because they ain't gonna play with it forever like if you get them something at six years old they ain't gonna play with it forever no you get them something at 14 years old they ain't gonna play with it forever no so that really don't matter so i don't care what anybody says about that i'm gonna mm -hmm. give my baby everything for christmas okay Okay. <laughs> okay, who's joining us? We're doing zero out of ten. Negative one hundred out of ten. Use a regular trash can as a diaper can. Literally, there's no point. There, you have to buy like this eighty dollars trash can when you get one for twenty dollars at Walmart. Uh, thirty dollar bags wow. when you can get some for seven ninety eight at Walmart. Like, yeah. there's literally no point. And then there's no point. <clears throat> Baby laundry detergent. We had it for maybe like the first two, the first two months. And I like the smell, but it was too much. So I would say five out of 10. And then it, it runs out quick too. Um, I would just use all free and clear if your baby has any allergies. It costs less and Drex has been recalled multiple times. Mm -hmm. I use regular detergent, same detergent I used on my clothes. I put it on her, she's perfectly fine. Yeah. Changing pad slash changing table. I only have the pad. I put it on her dresser sometimes, but I, I mean, it could be very useful to some, but I just put it on her table. I just bought the pad and put it on her not stand thing or on her dresser. I have a changing table and a changing pad, and personally, I, I use it all the time. Like, that's the only place I will change her unless we're out somewhere, obviously. But it gives you more storage, gives you more, like, places to put things, especially diapers, and then you're just right there. And then it's less likely for them to fall off. <laughs> <laughs> and dollar bottles. You personally, um, I tried breastfeeding, didn't work, so we went straight to bottles and formula, obviously. Um, fed baby's the best baby, doesn't matter, so fed is happy. Um, but anyways, we used formula, and she, I started her out on the Dr. Brown's bottles because everyone told me, <laughs> go get... Dr. Browns or go get Tommy Tippy or Como Tomo and all these other brands. And literally, the only one she likes is either Dr. Browns or the dollar bottle from Walmart, Dollar Tree, Dollar General, anything like that. She hates the big wide nipples, the boom bottles, and all that. And me, for Ivy, she 
like the only bottle she can actually drink out of is the Dr. Brown bottles. And the Dollar Tree and like Dollar General, the one dollar bottles don't really work for her because she drinks like really fast. So we have to use slow nipples. But it's different for every baby. You just have to try it out. Okay, teethers. Everybody told me not to spend too much money on them. But they're a lifesaver, especially the ones you put in the freezer. Because Ivy's in her like bad teething stage right now. And it's horrible. And anything she can put on her teeth is great. I passed the fire clips. So many people told me not to get it that you're literally never going to um, use them or whatever. That you'll always lose them. You're going to lose the pass regardless. I got them anyways and they work tremendously. Like, sorry I got an acrobatic over here. But, <laughs> literally. Okay, um, the next thing is the cradle cut brush from Freedom Mom or Freedom Baby. This, literally use it all the time. It worked miracles. She didn't have cradle cap, but I still used it. And then I started seeing that on her around five months old. Use it one time, completely gone. Like, all you do is put stuff on her head with this part and then scrub it in, brush their hair out, and scrub a little bit gently with this, and then put water in this and just rub it out. And literally, it works amazing. And it comes with a comb, too, that you comb their hair afterwards, and it's just like this. I, I definitely recommend it. Yes. Grop water. Um, we only, me and Ivy only used it up to maybe four months. And she was great with it. Now we don't use it because I just completely forgot about it. But I would rate that a 8 out of 10. Yes, I use grop water on her daily. At nighttime grop water, it helps put her to sleep, calms her down, helps call it gas and fussiness, literally everything. Lifesaver for hiccups. Yes, really. So, yes. But be cautious because they can choke on it. Yes. Play pins. <clears throat> like a hundred out of ten. Ivy wants to go everywhere and that keeps her in one spot and I can just throw all her toys in there and she's perfectly fine for like two hours. Yes, I definitely recommend those. Like and they're a lifesaver because you can take them on the go literally everywhere yes. and they're so compact. Pacifiers. Um, buy uh, like one of every brand. Don't yes. say I'm gonna go with this brand because you're not the one that's gonna be sucking on them. You don't know what your child's gonna like until they get there. Um, or your children. Like, we got one of every passy just to make sure, like, to make sure that she could find one that she liked. And she stuck with Tommy Tippy, Bibs, and Freaks. Yes. That's it. Same for Ivy. And by the way, we had to switch phones because mine ran out of storage. Coffee. Oh, definitely. Yes. 100%. 110 out of 10. Yeah, like all the way. Literally. Every morning, every night, during the day. Baby shoes. Everyone says don't buy them. They can't walk. Don't put them on them. I personally got so many. Keep them on my daughter's feet just so that when it's time for her to walk and wear them, she's not fighting me. Mm -hmm. She's not saying no. And she's not taking them off. She's used to them. So, yes, I definitely recommend those shoes. Yes. Two outfits. They grow out of them fast, but they're worth it in the time. So, Literally. I would say 9 out of 10. Everyone says don't get cute outfits. They're just going to blow out, spit up, throw up, everything, ruin them. Get them. Literally. If you want them, get them. They're going to be worth it. Yes. Okay, that's the end of this video, and make sure to like and subscribe, and there will be definitely more videos of us after this, especially tomorrow and then the next day. Don't forget the comments and suggestions on new videos that y'all yes. want to see. Bye! Bye.